Hey everybody, my name is Mike Wooster with Wooster Photography and today I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my photo editing process. I do a lot of real estate photo shoots on the Oregon coast and for many of them the ocean view is the biggest selling point. So my job as a photographer is to ensure that both the interior of the room and the view through the windows are properly exposed. The image I'm working on today is from a beautiful luxury vacation rental in Oceanside, Oregon. This is the living room and as you can see it has a gorgeous view. I took five bracketed shots plus one shot using a flash and here I'm just taking a close look at all of them and making some minor adjustments to the exposure and white balance before I start blending them together. Here I'm using a plugin called Lightroom Infuse to blend two of my bracket shots together which I think will give me the best exposure for the interior of the roof. So here's the resulting blended photo, which will serve as my ambient shot, which I will then uh, blend together with my flash shot in Photoshop. So I'm selecting those two photos, right clicking and choosing edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and I'm moving the layer that contains the flash photo above the layer that contains the ambient photo. Then I'm going to give the flash photo just a little bit of transparency so that I get a good blend of the two. Then um, I create a reverse mask on the flash photo and using a brush I just reveal only the parts of the flash photo that I want to come through. Now I want to concentrate on the view through the window. So I'm back in Lightroom and I'm going to choose the photo that I think has the best exposure through the window. Now I'm just adjusting the exposure a little bit, bringing down the highlights, bumping up the shadows, just trying to get the view through the window to look really good and bright. Unfortunately, the day I was there taking these photos, it was overcast. And so as you can see, the sky and the ocean are kind of gray and washed out. So I want to try and change that. And to do that, I'm, I'm masking out just the ocean using a uh, color range mask in Lightroom and refining that mask and then adjusting the color so that it looks more blue. Now that I'm satisfied with the ocean color, I want to replace the cloudy sky with a less cloudy sky. And to do that, I need to bring it into Photoshop. Now we're going to use Photoshop's sky replacement tool by going to the edit menu and choosing sky replacement. And I'm just adjusting some of the settings to brighten up the sky, make it match the, the rest of the view through the windows. And 
Now I'm going to just copy and paste this window photo into the other Photoshop file I have still open, which is a blend of the flash and ambient photo. So I just want the window portion of this new photo to show, and so I need to mask out only the windows. And to do that, I'm using the pen tool. It's kind of tedious, but it's worth it if you really want it to look realistic. It looks like I somehow missed one of the windows, so I just need to mask that one out, and we're just about done. I feel like the center post in that main window is a little too bright. That area in general is a little overexposed, so I just want to make one final adjustment by duplicating the flash shot and masking out a little bit more of just that area. Alright, we're almost done, but the last thing I need to do is apply some lens correction because I see there's a little bit of distortion in that living room window. It's kind of bending to the left there. Alright, that's it. Here's the final photo. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments and take it easy.